Hello, today we're going to look at the Lady Schaefer 632, 632. And it's from around 1975, and it comes from, I'm going to say, a period when probably the fountain pen market was looking for ideas to expand or at least survive. And they came up with this pen for Schaefer, and it's designed almost as a piece of jewelry. Um, it was aimed at something uh, a woman could toss probably into a purse, take out on a uh, to a fine occasion, and if they needed a pen, they had this rather dazzling piece of, of jewelry, really. It has a chased pattern. It's called a paisley pattern. And what it is, a, a chasing, a chased pattern is where usually common in, say, metalwork, where you take a little tool and you stamp a pattern with a hand, you use a hammer, you hit the tool, and it uh, cuts a pattern into a piece of metal or jewelry or in this case a pen um, they didn't use this they didn't do this by hand there was a machine with two wheels with the pattern stamped on it and the the pen would go uh, through the machine like this and the wheels would go round and round and round cutting the pattern into the metal bottle uh, metal uh, body of the pen and in the cap um, I like the pen it's a little flashier than I usually go for, uh, but there's, it's an interesting piece of history, and it's it's actually kind of nice just to sit there when you're thinking and just turn it and look at the almost hypnotic effect that occurs. But anyway, but this actually will be uh, in my wife's collection. Actually, she likes it a lot. She thinks it's a nice. It's an it, well, it is a nice pen. So I thought she would like to have it. Um, if you look at it, it has a metal clip and it has the little white dot. At one point, that little white dot signified a lifetime warranty, uh, but they stopped doing that after a while. And but you would still see that on a what they were, would think of as a higher end pen. I don't know if they still make uh, fountain pens with the little white dot. I don't know. Um, Schaefer is one of those companies that it, it, it seems to have fallen into, um, you know, uh, fallen into, say, I'm not going to say disarray or anything like that. It's, you know, fountain pens are very popular these days. And there's some, you know, some, some brands that get so much attention. And in some ways, Schaefer doesn't seem to be uh, getting as much attention as it once did. It was one of the big fountain pen companies at one time back in the early well through the 1900s for instance but uh, anyway so let's talk about the little pen um like i said it's uh a 14 uh, anyway it has a 14 carat nib let's see let's see here if we can get a good picture of it uh, it's sort of an inlaid little uh little nib very pretty 14k and the interesting thing about this nib i don't know if you can see that uh, is it's slightly upturned at first i thought that was a defect but actually looking online it, these pens uh had that slight up sweep in the at the tipping you can see a little uh hole underneath the feed there that's where the ink goes in when you fill it um, it's a cartridge uh, filler. Um, it's a cartridge pen, really, uh, and probably a converter. I have a converter in it, but I don't have one that fits perfectly. I'll have to get a, try to get a smaller one. Um, so this piece here, this section is pl plastic. This is metal. You can see a little bit of wear right there in the pattern. Um, but I, other than that, it's actually in very good shape. I touched the nib and I now have ink on my hand. Um, giving you a comparison in size, here's a Lamy Studio. And the Lamy Studio is actually quite a bit bigger. Um, a little bit, a lot thicker. And as you say, the Lamy, as you see, the Lamy, uh, Lamy, uh, is bigger and thicker and the Schaefer is a very small little pen I guess the idea being 
women's hands are smaller, so they made a smaller pen. But uh, you know what? I have small hands, or probably uh, not not the biggest hands in the world, but they're not overly small, I guess. But uh, this actually feels quite nice in the hand. It's also surprisingly heavy, really. Probably a similar in weight to the Lamy to uh, the Lamy Studio here. One interesting thing I noticed is the shape actually of the Schaefer and the, and the studio are very similar, very similar shapes. The cap, of course, is a bit longer on the, uh, on the Lady Schaefer right here. And we're going to do a little writing sample. Just pull it off. It's a pull cap. It posts very nicely. Um, and I believe, let's see, what do we got here? What is it? Blank piece of paper. Do a little writing sample. So, a quick brown fox. Now, one thing I noticed, it actually puts down a very nice line. There seems to be just a little bit of line variation, and I, and I wonder if that has to do with the shape of the nib, that slight upturn uh, in the design. Um, I haven't actually used this pen in a few days, and it wrote straight off, which I like. So, no, uh, no hard starts, no drying. Um, very reliable. And as you see, I'm getting some nice, you know, on the downstrokes and upstrokes, I'm getting some nice line variation. Very, attra very attractive uh, pen uh, to, to write with. It's smooth. Um, I don't know if it's a fine, but it seems more like a medium to me. Um, could be a Western fine, but anyway. But anyway, there you have it, this weird little pen. And it does come in various colors, and and, and uh, I've seen silver versions or all gold. This has sort of a black underlay to it. I quite like the black, actually. Um, very striking pen, very unusual pen. So let me know in the comments, do you have a Lady Schaefer uh, from this period, this, the 632? Uh, do you like the pen? all those things. If you're new around here, I invite you to um, give us a thumbs up. You know that giving uh, a like actually really helps the channel, uh, and I appreciate it. Um, <laughs> it's always interesting on YouTube learning more about how it works and how the algorithm works and things like that. So if you uh, like it, give us a thumbs up, uh, comment, and I invite you to share or uh, subscribe to the channel. Anyway, I'll talk to you soon. I hope you have a great day. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.